back to that just momentarily here. Super excited about this interview, though. We're going to bring in David Gruel. He is a part of NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab and was instrumental in putting together this Perseverance rover. Uh, David, I first of all, thanks for being here on News Now from Fox. But man, I have a few questions for you. This was such an exciting moment for all of you guys. And I wonder if you can just take us through a little bit of that. Absolutely amazing four days or so from the uh, surface of Mars here at JPL. Um, we started last Thursday with the exciting landing on the surface. Um, and then that was followed very quickly with uh, a lot of this high resolution video imagery depicting the vehicle descending through the Martian atmosphere and then touching down on the surface of Mars. And it has is exceeded our wildest expectations. We were just hoping we get a little bit of data that uh, the system would work just a little bit. And it's, it's just been incredible what we've gotten. We're super excited. Dave, we're just starting to get back some of these photos, some of this audio. What are your initial thoughts seeing and hearing all of this? So the first thing that I saw was uh, the still image that was taken from the descent stage, looking down onto the rover as it was getting ready to touch down onto the surface. And uh, it, it just, it, it, it just, it gave me goosebumps. All the hard work and all the effort that we put in for many years, not just myself, but also many engineers who are helping us uh, make this happen. And then it just, it, it just got better from there. The next day we got down the whole video that showed that same event. You could see in high resolution detail what it was like to actually uh, land on the surface. Um, you know, the joke started going around that, you know, I hope everyone is keeping their arms and legs inside the vehicle before they watch the video because it really felt like you were riding along with perseverance going for the touchdown on the surface of Mars. It's, and it's just been great. It's this video, then it's another video, then it's this video of the surface, and then it's audio from the surface. And it's like this nice little system we put on the vehicle is a nice to have has just been returning one amazing piece of information after another. Yeah, I mean, as an average person, we all get excited seeing all this. So I can only imagine you. Was there any point through this process that you were afraid or nervous that something wasn't going to work out throughout the mission yeah I, actually I to, i'm glad to hear that you are as excited as we are i mean my wife often I, I show her things at home and she's like you know what you guys are dorks you know you're engineers you have different humor that's not that big of a deal but these things have been really uh, the videos as, as the GPL team has watched them has just, there's been such excitement and uh, we're all glad that uh, as these are getting out, the public realizes that, uh, you know, we're bringing them along for the ride. Um, they're there with us too. And the fact that they're interested in it and they're excited about it too is, is, it's just great. It makes us feel good and, and that we can share this with people. Um, in terms of, uh, uh, were we nervous along the way? I, I think that the, once we got that first image back, I think that uh, we had a pretty good feeling that the whole system was going to work as expected. It was kind of a, an all or nothing. Now, I say that, and it turns out one of the cameras that we did put on the vehicle did break. It stopped working, um, likely due to a very high dynamic environment that it was in. But when the first, I, to me, it was all or nothing. It was either we're going to get just amazing set of, of, uh, of videos or we're going to get nothing. And luckily it was the former, not the latter. We got a great set of, of imagery that we can now share with, with everybody. And not only is it great to watch from an outreach and excitement point of view, we're learning all sorts of interesting things from an engineering point of view too. Um, we're going through those images frame by frame. We're able to look and see where things didn't work the way we expected them to work. And that's great knowledge that we can use in the future to make our designs even more robust, resilient, and increase the chances that we can be successful on future missions also. How often can we expect to see images and audio coming from the rover? So a lot of the videos that we collected during the entry, descent, and landing portion of the mission have already come back, and that's mm -hmm. kind of what we showed today. We are working with the operations team to figure out what would be good opportunities to use that microphone 
uh, one of the great ones we're interested in is, is as the vehicle starts to drive on the surface and those wheels interact with the surface and they, they touch rocks and they scrape over rocks and they scrape on the sand, that should be some pretty interesting audio uh, too. But the video, uh, I'm sorry, the images and the stuff we have going forward, those are going to be taken by the engineering cameras and the science instruments that are, are mounted onto the vehicle. And those are going to be some great pictures of the surface themselves and super high definition with amazing color and just bringing people along for the ride as the vehicle is actually driving along on the surface and looking at scenes we've never seen before and checking out rocks up close and personal. There's going to be a lot of great imagery still to come from the Perseverance vehicle. How long is it going to be up there for? Forever. <laughs> now, how long is it going to work for? Uh, designed to work for about uh, two and a half Earth years. Um, but, you know, as we've seen in the past with past missions, they once we get them safely down onto the surface, history has shown that they have the opportunity to work a lot longer than they're actually designed to do. So hmm. the Curiosity mission, which was the precursor to Perseverance, um, you know, that's been on the, the surface of Mars, uh, you know, for eight years or so. And so we're hoping that uh, Perseverance is going to have just as much uh, longevity um, and continue to drive around and explore new places and get new imagery and make new scientific findings about, uh, about, uh, about Mars. And uh, when are you and I going to head up to Mars? When, are, when do we get to check it out? <laughs> I, I would while. love to be able to do that. I'm guessing that uh, as, as my age has increased and uh, I feel the, what it's like to be older, I, I don't know that I will get to see it myself. I would be excited if my kids actually, uh, you know, would be able to see that first human walk on Mars. It's an incredibly challenging thing, um, but there's, there's great things happening. And not only sample return, but, you know, SpaceX and, and they're doing amazing things that they're looking to, to get people to Mars. And I would be excited and I would be happy if I could see someone walking on Mars in my lifetime. But it is very hard to get somebody there, keep them safe, get them to the surface, wait for the planets to line again, get them off the surface and get them all the way back to the Earth. That's someone can spend a lot of time away from home. Yeah. What are you most excited for coming up next that we can all get geared up for and be able to show on our shows and talk to you again? I think the next, well, while there's some great imagery, which is going to keep people interested and excited, I think the next big show coming from Perseverance is going to be the Ingenuity helicopter. Um, they're looking right now to find a good place on Mars to actually put that helicopter down on the surface and then give it an opportunity to spin its rotors and, and uh, see it lift off on the surface and do uh, a powered flight on another planet. I, and that's just like kids enjoy using their drones and stuff nowadays. We have a drone. It just turns out our drone is on another planet. And I'm assuming you'll obviously be a part of that production as well. I will be, I will be around and we'll be, that would be actually, that could be another great time to actually use that uh, microphone. If we're not too far away from the helicopter when it takes off, we could probably get some great audio of that rotor spinning up and starting to lift the vehicle up into the air. Yeah. They've got to keep the two vehicles a little distance apart. We want to make sure that the helicopter can't uh, do something bad to the rover if it goes out of control or anything like that. Um, but uh, we'll see how far we end up being apart and whether or not we could actually pick up any of that audio and we can uh, share the experience together. Dave, it's been so amazing and enlightening having you on the show. Is there anything else that you have to say about this mission and looking forward into the future? I mean, we're in 2021. It feels like a futuristic year. 2020 felt kind of futuristic, so this seems fitting. But any last thoughts on this? Yeah, I just, I think I'm continuing to be amazed. You know, uh, 65 years ago, I'm sorry, 1965, we got our first image back of what Mars might look like. And at the time, the engineers had to color in the picture that came back with almost like a color by numbers. And so I think about the fact that, uh, you know, 50 years or so later, we're now sending high def cameras to the surface to be able to help us do science and look around and see what it's like. And it makes me wonder what it's going to be like 50 years from now. The advances are coming fast and furious. There's some real smart people out there. Um, we're excited about what uh, our, our, the youngsters, the kids in school today are going to bring into the equation and, and keeping them excited about science. 
And uh, I'm really excited to see what's going to be coming up for us next, not only on Perseverance, but also for future missions that will explore Mars or other planets in our solar system. So cool. So happy to have uh, you, the brains, who's behind all that and the rest of your crew out there in California. Well, thanks for joining us here on News Now from Fox. I know that you've got uh, dinner with the family, so enjoy that tonight. <laughs> great. Thank you so much for your interest and uh, have yourself a great evening. All right. We'll talk soon, hopefully. So, um, like we said, really, really cool images.